The creation of design variants in Altium Designer is based on the use of component variations. Initially, we need a project in which all possible variants of the device are thought out and included on the circuit board. We can define the following types of component variations. Fitted. This is the default setting when a new variant is created. Fitted, but with modified component parameters such as its value. Not fitted. The original component as used in the base design is not fitted or used in a new variant. Another option is the alternate part. This allows us to replace the base component with another. Let's consider these types of variations in the example of several components. They are on the schematic sheet and have already been transferred to the board. Thus the schematic and the PCB are fully synchronized. Let's go to the project variants menu and the first thing we will look at is the display styles of the component variations available in the drawing style option. In the schematic drawing options it is possible to set not fitted components to strike through or hatched or even apply overlay text to the component. For change component parameters it is also possible to add a suffix and if required customize the font for better visualization. In the PCB editor non-fitted components can be hidden in the 3D model and assembly drawings. For assembly drawings there is also a strike through mode for such components. Let's take a look at how component variations are created. Let's create a new variant. This will appear in the table as a separate column. By default, all components are set as fitted till they are changed. In the newly created variant, we can change the parameters of any component. For example, let's change the value of the resistor R3. Let's select it and edit the parameters using the table below. This method should only be used if your library isn't set up with the required component. Any modified parameters will be displayed in bold and if necessary they can be reset to the original value using the context menu. If your library has a resistor with the required value it can then be selected as an alternative component. Let's do this for R4. The selected component will have the same symbol and footprint as the base component. Click OK and R4 will be replaced with an alternative component. Click OK again and a new variant of the project will be created and available from the projects panel. Component variants can be seen in the schematic sheet by selecting the tab at the bottom left of the schematic and by double clicking the variant in the projects panel. Variations in the parameters of the resistor R3 will be visible in the schematic as well as in output documentation. The alternative component for R4 has the same footprint as the base component so no additional footprint will be added to the PCB. We can check this by running an update. Change parameters of the alternative component will also be visible in the schematic and in the output documentation. Now let's create another variant of the project and consider the variations not fitted and alternate part. For example, let's exclude capacitor C3 by choosing not fitted. And for resistor R4 in this variant, we will install an alternative component, a jumper, which differs in both the symbol and the footprint. It is important that the number and pinout of the alternate symbol matches that of the original component. Click OK and the new variant is added to the projects panel. Double click this variant and notice the resistor symbol has now been replaced with a jumper. And the excluded capacitor C3 is crossed out in accordance with the specified drawing style. Since the jumper has a different footprint from the base component, it will be added when the board is updated. The new jumper footprint will have the same designator as the base component and if required this can be hidden. The additional footprint can be placed next to the base component or if possible it can even be overlaid. One thing to note, clearance checking between the 3D bodies for the alternative and the base components may require to be disabled since only one of these components will be fitted to the board at a time. 